Yes. Yes. I had half a sandwich, so I wouldn't die. Oh. <laughs> You'll be fine. We have nuts. But did I you was die? Serious lightweight, though. But did you die? We have nuts. <laughs> we have these nuts. Oh my God. Those nuts. <laughs> <laughs> these nuts. All right. Do the thing. Good. Everybody good. Testing, yes. Testies. Good, 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 good. Good. Bull testing. Lack of testies. One, two, three. Ovaries and out. Welcome to the Buckmore Podcast. I am Martel, and with me always is Mike and Melissa at the Mac Shack. It's okay. Hey. How are you? I'm back. You're back. I guess it went okay last time. It went fine. Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is, is Everything fine. Everything is fine. Randy is not here today. He just said that he couldn't make it. Yep. So good luck, Randy. Yeah. It was and nice a, knowing you. It's it's a story. It's a story for later, so that we'll probably never hear. Well, maybe not on air anyways. Right. So anyhow, I want to start the show with this little gem. Traveler's whiskey. That one dude, Ryan. Yeah, that one dude, Ryan, on Instagram. And TikTok and all the things. Yeah, in the, in the medias of socials. We tried this. Yeah, we did this the other, the other week. I'm trying to drink through the bottle as fast as I can. It's not good, in our opinion. His opinion is... Identical. Yeah. I can tell by his face. He's displeased. Traveler Whiskey. This is a 90 proof blended whiskey by the fine people at Buffalo Trace and Chris Stapleton. Now on the back of this bottle, it says, good whiskey is like a good song. It needs no explanation. Just one taste should tell you everything you need to know. What I do know is that I don't usually talk about the whiskeys that I don't really like. Bottom of the board. Yeah. So basically he trashed it. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to drink through this bottle as fast as I can. It was legitimately a waste of 40 bucks. Um, so I made some old fashions the other night in it. I've had whiskey ruin soda, like, like beam eight star ruined Dr. Pepper. I've never ruined an old fashioned. I didn't think it was actually possible but it took on the flavor like i used a, a cherry bitters and it was like cherry nyquil it was so bad it did and it doesn't get better that's so sad that is sad like it just i just want it gone but i won't dump it down the drain yeah he said he said you asked here's my answer it's sweet thin and it leaves a literal bad taste in my mouth and i agree with yeah it's I, we pretty much said the same thing. It's it's whiskey for people who don't know what whiskey is. I, well, I don't I don't need to try that. No, so, good. No. It's not here. Yeah, yeah we don't. I made have. him take it home. Yeah, I, t- I took it home. <laughs> it, it went with me back to my house where I'm just pounding through it. Like Malort. <laughs> uh, I would almost rather drink Malort than, oh. than Travelers. Ooh, that is saying something. And, yeah. and, and they're two completely different things. But if I was given the choice, I'd probably take the shot of Malort over. A glass of Travelers. Yeah, this is real good. So, so oh. Mike made. Yeah, we we did. I I think I sent this to you, right? I I, I don't know. It. I don't know. We send each other drink yeah, recipes we, all the time. Constant so. back and forth. So, but this is a. It's, it's basically a pineapple sour. Yeah, it's basically a pine like a pineapple smash. It's a pineapple bourbon sour. Yeah, and it, and which it is, is. And so I did it proportionally correct. I'm just going to take those off. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. I can still hear everything, right? Yeah. Just, okay. Yeah, because yeah. we're right here. Okay, yep. yeah, they hurt my ears. Unless yeah. you, unless I play something, then you won't be able to hear. Okay, well, I'll put them back up. That's fine. No, you're good. Those headphones hurt me. So it so. is two ounces of bourbon, an ounce of pineapple juice, uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of honey syrup, bitters on top, and it says to use an egg white, but I use an egg white substitute. Which I'm fine with. Yeah. It's good. It's very the proportions pineapple. Apple sour are better than when I made it in the house. Mm, that is better. Before mm-hmm. it was too sweet. This is mm. just right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is very sour. This is way different than the pineapple sour I make, which is 
one third pineapple juice, one third orange juice, one third bourbon, and two drops of lemon. Yeah. So, what are the proportions on this one? This is two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of pineapple juice, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, half ounce of honey syrup. Okay. And then bitters on top. Okay. Well, and it's it's a nice balance because I could see that if this went down really fast, that it's one of those that you'd put in the category of everything is fine until you try and get up. Yep. And yep. then you go crashing to the floor because this is really mm. drinkable for spring or summer. Yeah. I was yep. about to say, this might be a beach drink. Mm -hmm. This is a by the pool, in the hot tub, at the beach, Yeah, walking downtown Lancaster. Yeah. Yeah. And goes on the list of what happened to Aunt Yaya, why did she fall? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, this is good. This is uh, highly recommendable, and I'm glad that uh, one of us sent it to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how you guys been? Good, good. We recovered from the last couple of days. You want to tell? So why, when you're pushing fifty, uh, the past couple of days led to me sleeping ten hours last <laughs> night. <laughs> Rut row. So. Murph came home from college for a spring break. Yep. And he has been wanting to take the train. He wants to take the Amtrak. Well, the Amtrak doesn't come to Columbus, but it comes to Cleveland. Goes to Cleveland. So that time for that trip was he gets on the train in Rochester at 1130 at night. And so he got dropped off at 4 o'clock in the morning at the Amtrak station in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, yeah, yeah, no, I could, like, you know, I'll hang out here until you guys get up here. And we're like, yeah, no. I'll sleep on a park bench. It's fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> what like, could go wrong? Yeah. It's Cleveland, no. everything. <laughs> we're like, yeah, no, that's not a thing. Mistake so by the lake. So Melissa picked me up from work on Friday night. We grabbed dinner. Cooper's at, Hawk. Co uh, yeah, I saw, yeah. Yeah. Went to went and had a wine tasting because you know why not before we drive. Uh, yeah. We didn't eat dinner at Cooper's Hawk this time no. though. We went to what is it called? True Real? Kitchen. True Kitchen. Oh, I love that place. I haven't. Have I been there? It's so good. I it's think right. It's right next to Forbidden Root. I have not been there. Yeah, so. we have, I was at Forbidden Root on Tuesday night. I like that place too. I don't. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. They. I mean, they have some good stuff. I don't like their beer. Yeah, their, their food is decent. Their food's decent. Their beer is... Mm. You have to find the right one. Yeah. I'm not... A, at this point, I've had to transition out of beers anyway, so... Right. So, yeah. Well, but they did have... And I'll let, you, I'll let you continue, but I'm going to interrupt you right now. Yeah. Um, I did have an old-fashioned there. They had okay. two old fashions at, at Forbidden Root. One made with Middle West Spirit. Okay. The other made with Watershed. Oh, and I'm standing there. I'm I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'll have the uh, the 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 pumpernickel rye old fashioned. And anybody else at this table, if they're ordering an old fashioned, will also have the pumpernickel the rye. And yeah. the guy looks at me, he's like, "What's wrong with Watershed?" I'm like, "Watershed fucking sucks." <laughs> Did you and, say it just like that? And my my boss <laughs> is sitting like here. His boss is sitting here. The rest, everybody else on my team, and, and they just kind of look at me, and I'm like, "Fucking awful." Yeah. And Literally the worst whiskey I have ever had, yeah. ever. And the waiter looks I'd rather it. have Travelers. Yeah, than, I, do, oh. I do Travelers than, than Watershed. And I do Malort before I do Travelers. Oh. So. <laughs> um, and a Malort old-fashioned sounds tragic. We should try it. <laughs> I will not be joining for that show. Yeah. You might have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, the server looks at me and he goes, it is garbage. <laughs> We I'm love like, when servers are honest. I'm like, there we go. Yeah. He's like, I'd highly recommend you get the 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 Middle West Spirit one. Yeah. Hundred percent. Middle West is fantastic. Yeah. So anyway. So went, anyways, went yeah. To, went to Mel Melissa, kitchen. you know, picked us, picked me up from work. We went to dinner, got up to Cleveland around nine thirty ish. Yeah. Went immediately to bed. Mm hmm. Immediately got back up. <laughs> it was the worst night of sleep, too, because there's this fear in the back of my head that, like, what if we oversleep and our kid is just hanging out at the Amtrak station at 4 a.m. until we or get there? Or what if he falls asleep and ends up in Toledo? And doesn't and, get off the train. And doesn't yeah. get off the train. Well, Mike, don't they do a sweep of the train, though? I, I don't know. This oh. is our first Amtrak experience. Mike had to be at work at 7. I had a board meeting at 8.30 in Columbus. And so, like, everything kind of had to line up. So it was a little. Yeah, that's a little, that's a little rough. And then so we pick him up. We should have told. Did you guys get like a hotel room? Or yeah, we did. Yeah. You should have just gave like Murph. Here's the hotel we're at. This is the room we're in. Yeah. Get off the train, 
and hit and it was only five minutes away. It was. It was fast. So I think next time, if we if we do this again, we'll just like Uber to the hotel. Yeah. 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 We uh, and then the trip home was just basically torrential downpours at four o'clock in the morning on a night of bad sleep Uh, and like and no coffee the only coffee available was the really terrible hotel room coffee where it's like you put the cartridge in and it's like the water from the the bathroom faucet and from the toilet yeah (laughs) toilet water coffee it's fine yeah it's like i was like melissa's like you're making that i was like i need something i I need caffeine right so i get in the car and i take a sip and i go well that's hot (laughs) Yeah, it's hot, that, semi-flavored that's, water. That's it's redeeming quality at this point. Yeah. Mm. So d- stop at Starbucks Easton when we get close to his job. Drop him off, and then I drive the rest of the way to Lancaster. Drop the boy off. Get back in the car and go up to a, an all-day board meeting. And uh, you yeah, got like home we, what time? I got home at four ish. I got home at five on the nose. Met in the driveway by the pizza dude. The, one of the most welcome sights ever because I was really tired and ready to crush <laughs> some za. So that happened. Yeah. Nice. And then just like it's his first night back home. He came home and took a nap until basically I got home because fuck him. And yeah, because uh, <laughs> no responsibilities at this point. Right. So. And so, yeah, just like ate pizza, chatted and then just just fell asleep. Yeah. Asleep. Yeah. And then time change. The only, the best thing about the time change is that the dogs don't know. So instead of getting up at seven o'clock in the morning, like they always do, eight got up at eight. So that was the, did the one bonus of the time change. That right there should just solidify the fact that we need to get rid of it. Yeah. Animals I don't agree. understand. Yeah. That. Oh, and neither do infants. And or most humans. Yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Or any other country. Well, and I read somewhere now, don't quote me. But I read somewhere that like this time of year, that the spring forward, that first Monday morning, that there is a, there's an increase in car wrecks. There's an increase Mm. in accidents at the workplace because people are tired. You just messed up their schedule. That makes sense. Yeah. We just, yeah, that, it just needs to. And I know that they passed a thing like we're going to get rid of it. They've been doing that for years. But they, they're fighting over whether they should fall back or spring forward. Doesn't matter. That's the fight now. Just flip a fucking coin. You know what? Flip it forward a half hour. Yeah, really fuck with people. And really just fuck with people. Well, there's who... Uh, one of the countries is... Oh, Arizona. IST. Yeah, IST. IST. No, IST time, India. Uh-huh. They're in, there are they're 10 and a half hours ahead of us. It's not 10 hours or huh. 11 hours. There's a half hour increment in there because I have to... I have to account for that whenever I'm scheduling meetings. Oh, that'd be so annoying. I just go look at my calendar. I'm like, okay, here, here. Okay. Boom. I'm yeah. going to schedule this meeting for 9 a.m. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon for them. Perfect. But it's just it's just pick one. I don't care which one it is. Me either. Just yeah. as long as it doesn't move again. Yep. I would prefer to have the longer days in the summer, so leave it how it is now. Yeah. Yeah. And just be done with it. Let's not do that. Yeah. India, or India, Indiana doesn't change. Neither does Arizona. And neither does a, a Arizona. Portion. I think Parts it's just a of portion Arizona. of Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. They don't change. So just let's just knock his shit off. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so, dumb. so stupid. Yeah. And then I, I saw somebody posted on Instagram that if we had 13 months, all the months would have 28 days. So you could start it on a Monday and end it on a s- Sunday every week. Well, if we had four day work weeks, people would be happier too. Yeah. And they're testing that out in a lot of countries and finding it to be very successful. Yeah. And I think, and honestly, I think it should just. Don't the increase in hours a day, like going from an eight hour to a to a ten hour day, is negligible. That it's that's just two more hours of just people hanging out and talking. Yeah. So mm-hmm. just leave it as a get your shit done, and who gives a fuck four days a week, you know, and be available for eight hours. Yeah. Versus, oh, we're gonna do four four day weeks, but now you have to work twelve hours a week because you can't get everything done in ten hours or eight hours a day. Yeah. So. What if I told you I could still get everything done in the exact same amount of time <laughs> I do it? Oh, there was a there was a meme that I saw. There was a video meme that I saw the other day. It was like it was an HR like it was a, a drawn out sketch, and it was like an HR person talking to or someone's boss talking to an employee over Zoom. And they're like, "Well, we noticed that you 
at five o'clock are done. You sign off while everybody else is still kind of working and da 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 da. And the person is just like, well, yeah, because I get my stuff done. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm done. And, and personal time is a, is a big thing for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take that personal time. And they're like, well, if what, you know, it's not fair to the other people on your team that you're signing off at five o'clock and they're staying on till like six or seven or even eight o'clock. And they're like, and that the response was, oh, well, do you want me to show them how to get everything done in the rest of the day? And they're like, and it, it just goes on and on. And as the animation goes, like, the one an, the the one animation of the the employee getting blasted for signing off at five he starts off pissed uh-huh. and starts getting super calm uh-huh. but then the boss starts getting super pissed because he's like oh I can show you how to be done at five and then right at the end of things he's like by the way it's five o'clock I'll see you see, see you on see Monday <laughs> and just boop and it just blips out and the boss is just sitting there like just fuming clearly a salaried employee yeah, yeah. I'm just like ah. Because that only matters go. when you're salaried. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how I. I mean, that's that's how I function. My boss, like, I'm, my boss has told me is like, you actively, you, if if you could go home when your work was done, you would be here for four hours a day. Sometimes, yeah. Well, like, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. That's and I mean, in your line of work, it's a little bit yeah. more difficult. But yeah, that's and that's in my opinion, the way it kind of should be. I mean, especially in an office-based environment. Like, it, working for, like, I work from home. A little more linear environment. Yeah, yeah I work from home. So, and even my, my director was like, I said something. We had to go to the office on Tuesday. And everybody and their mother, as far as my company's executives, were in town. So we're headquartered up in Columbus, but we have offices in Florida, Texas, New York, everybody was in town for a big executive meeting. So it was like, oh, everybody has to be in the office, you know, put your face on, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, okay, this ain't my thing. But All right. so then I had a one-on-one with, I had a skip level one-on-one, which I'm not a oh, huge yeah. fan of skip level one-on-ones. I just, my, my, my director is a nice guy. I like him. But we just don't need to have like a monthly one-on-one. We can oh, do you have a, quarterly. a monthly skip it's, level. Yeah, we have. I think it's monthly. If it's not, it's quarterly. If, if it's quarterly, then I'm bitching just a bitch. But if it's, I, I don't remember. But okay. If it's monthly, a monthly skip level feels excessive. Well, the one guy, the the previous director wanted to do weekly, and I'm like, uh-uh. a weekly uh. skip oh. level. Uh-huh. So not your boss, but your boss's boss. Yes. Wow, that's well, a. I'll, I'll, who I'll, has time for that? I I don't. Neither does your director. No, he does. Oh, well, there's... <laughs> because it's he was scheduling them. He was scheduling them, so he had time for them. Do you see the snow? Yeah, it's going sideways. But how much of it? Like, this it's is... bullshit. It's bullshit. I hate second winter. This is, like, fourth winter. It is, like, fourth winter. But... Because we were lulled into fall spring last week. Yeah. Well, it's coming back. But so... So we're, we're sitting there in, in the one-on-one, and he goes... He goes, so how are you doing today? I'm like... I'm going to be honest with you. I said, today's a bit much. He's like, how so? I'm like, so we're not in the office. I said, yes. Now, starting March, we're supposed to be in the office at least three days a month. Fine. Three days a month. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. And there's uh, off. I'll tell you why off off air. But so three (laughs) days a month. I don't want to give away who I work for. Sure. I get that. Yeah. So I get that. uh, Three days a month. It's just like, all right, you know, no big deal. Whatever. But. I said, everybody and their mother is in town today. He's like, yeah. I said, it's, 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 it's a bit much. Like I, he's like, well, what have you done today? I'm like, nothing. Mm-hmm. He's like, nothing. I'm like, you can't. Right. Because everybody you haven't seen is stopping by your desk. He's like, how many desks did you stop by? I'm like, one. Yours right now at this <laughs> Well, moment. no, this is a meeting. So <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. like, n- one desk. I went and seeked out one person because we always – I would – burst into their office. They've always been above me, yeah. but we started at the company at the same time. Yeah. And I burst, I would just burst into her office and start bitching about stuff. And so I said, I look for this one person. And they're like, he's, he just goes, oh, okay. He goes, how many people stop by your desk? I'm like, untold numbers. Like I said, I have no idea. And he's like, okay. He's like, it is, it is a bit much today. He goes, so what would you be doing right now if we weren't sitting in this call? I'm like, I'd probably be on, or sitting in this meeting, I said, I'd probably be on another call, mm-hmm. whatever. 
He goes, yeah. He goes, I'd probably be doing laundry. Oh, my. Oh, I would love. And I just looked at him. I'm like, oh, I said, in that case, I said, I'd probably be cleaning my garage. <laughs> You're going to be honest. I'm going <laughs> to be And he honest. goes, I said, but I'd still be on a call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because, right. And he goes, love headsets. he goes, yeah, he goes, it, 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 he goes, it is really nice, you know, working from home and being able to do like some of the extracurricular stuff to yeah. be able to get things done. I'm like, yeah, we can't do that. I said, plus, I just can't get anything done because people are constantly coming by my desk. Yeah. Hey, oh, my God, I haven't seen you in forever, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whatever, get the hell out of here. So going to like a, you know, switching to a get your work done scenario. And as long as your shit's done, who gives a shit what you do? Yeah. That's how my boss, that's how my current boss functions, to which he did not appreciate me buying a car on Tuesday and being gone for two hours <laughs> <laughs> from the office. So Tuesday, while I was, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go over here to Jermaine Cadillac. They have a, a car I want to look at. Went over, drove it, come back. Guy's like, what do you think? I'm like, well, I like it. And if you can get me right to this number, out the door, I'll take it today. And he goes, well, let's see what we can do. So two hours later, I come back. My boss is like walking through one of the voyeurs uh, as I come up to the to the floor we're on. And he's like, hey. He's like, where are you coming from? I'm like, oh, I just bought a car. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what do you mean you just bought a car? I'm like, well. Are you salaried? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, it's, again, he doesn't care. He right. just doesn't want you to tell him that. Oh, yeah, for the past two and a half hours, oh, yeah, I've been I, sitting I, in like the a, dealership. <laughs> it's like a car buying, don't ask, don't tell. Yeah. yeah. He's like, why are you telling me that you've been a, away from the office for two and a half hours? I'm like, because... You asked. <laughs> you asked what I was doing. I said, and if I was at home, it would have been four hours. Yeah. And he goes, oh. he goes, <laughs> he goes, there are things that I don't need to know. He goes, I don't care. There's just things I don't need to know. Right. Like, how long you were gone from the office. He's like... You answered quite. I'm like, eh, I said, if someone need to get a hold of me, I said, I got, I got shit on my phone that I can yeah. take calls and da, da, da. And he's like, so did you buy the car? I'm like, fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's get to the important stuff. Let's get the important stuff. Did thing. you buy it? I bought it. Can I see a picture? So. It's in the driveway. Yeah. It's in oh, the driveway. Oh, look. Okay. Yeah. It's out there. It's, uh. Is it's, it white? It's yep. the white one? Yeah. It's the white one. Well, it looks pretty from right here. Is it? I mean, do you have a white car? I did it one time. Yeah. We had a white car, but yeah. no, not any. Do you own a white Audi? No. That's an Audi? <laughs> All right, so we're going to get to that, too. Yeah. Because, so I bought the car for Lexi. Okay, we talked about this we the last this. time I was on the show. With that I was thinking about it. Yeah. I, I found what I wanted. Best dad ever. And I bought it. Now, I walked out the door with this car for $11,385. Nice. I bought it for $10,400. Not, it's not chump change, but it's not, like, stupid expensive. Nope, that's a really that's good a, price. a really good price. For any car. Now, I probably could have gotten her 100%. a newer Honda for the same price. I don't like Hondas. I'm just not a Honda person. Oh, I know. hurt a little. I, Sorry. I'm a Toyota guy. Okay. Toyota and Subaru. I have had both. Yeah. I just We have both right now. We yeah. do. I've, I've had Hondas. They're not bad. I'm just not I get thing. it. You like what you like. You yeah. like what you like. No and I like German here. cars. I love German cars. Not big on American cars. Da, da, da. Yeah. He's saying, far from fucking. I mean, mm -hmm. far from nuking. Yeah, that one. Um, so I was on the lookout for, I, she was like, well, I want, I want an Audi like what you had, like the, the black car you had, not my white one. I'm like, well, I wouldn't buy you the white one anyway because sports car and no. So looking around, found this car. It's a white station wagon. And I'm just like, hells yes. That's what I like it. I will not buy her something that I wouldn't drive. And I want a station wagon. And uh, so uh, found it, bought it. Next day, Liz and I had to drive back to Easton and get it. So they gave me all the title work and everything. Like, I literally owned the car, and I hadn't handed them a check yet. Nice. And then the next day, I'm like, well, I'll bring a check the next tomorrow. Whatever. No big deal. So dropped a check off, took the car. Lexi's like, hey, I need to be picked up. Liz and I and Harley all hop in the car. We drive over to the school. And she's like, I don't, where are you, where are you at? It's like, she's texting Liz. Liz is like, I'm outside. She's like, I don't see you. And then Liz goes, should I step out of the car? Like, there's a whole video on my, on my Instagram and on my Facebook. Should I step out of the car? I said, you can do that or I can honk the horn. Liz gets out of the car and she's like, Lexi. And her face just drops. She's like, oh, is that for me? That's so I'm like, fun. 
yes, this is a car that will be available for you to drive. <laughs> that was wisely stated. So and yes. she goes, so it's my car. I'm like, it is a vehicle that is in this house that is available for you to drive. Nicely done. So she is very excited about it, to which she promptly mm-hmm. got a bunch of shit at school for. Oh, I didn't know you were rich. <laughs> Your dad bought you an Audi? Oh, my God. I can't believe. Oh, okay, money bags. Yeah. She's like. Fuck off. I, I, the car cost $10,000. Right. She's like. I don't. We're Midwesterners. We'll tell you exactly how much we yeah. paid for it. Yeah. yeah. She's like, it's 12 years old. Yeah. yeah. It's not new. What do you guys think? Yeah, like, this right. Ain't no, a brand no. New it's car. like, I'm not trying to fucking McLaren here. Right. right. Yeah. So, yeah. but I do have to interrupt and say I'm really glad I had to have a sandwich. Yeah. Because that hit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Already? I told you I'm lightweight. I guess. <laughs> Incidentally, that's fucking delicious. It was really it good. It is really good. So, to finish my story, on Friday I went to the gym. Uh-huh. Lo and behold, Katie open. fucking shank. Katie shank! <laughs> We're going to have Katie on the show. And it's going to be like the train's going off the tracks. Hey, Uncle Moneybags. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like her, there were a couple other people that did the same shit, but I was just like, eat shit, Katie. And she goes, well, I'm not buying. I'm like, I paid 10 grand for that car. She goes, oh. Mike goes, that's a really good deal. I'm like, I know. Thank you. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Yes. 100%. It is a really good deal. Love the shanks. I love them. So I found out that the car is chipped, so the car doesn't have 220 horsepower. It has closer to 300 horsepower. Oh, oh. for and your 16-year-old. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, and I taught her how to put it into launch mode. Oh, God. No. And I told her how. I Liz, told, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of you. I love you, Liz. Uh, it's fine. So I said, <laughs> I said, we do not do launch mode. She doesn't remember how to do it because yeah. I went, I blew through it so fast. It is, it is it, bad. I was like, you do, you this, you do, do this, do this, do this, hit the brake, put the gas, go. It's not micro machines. It's not fast enough. Yeah. yeah. And she goes, huh? And I just hit the, I'm like, put your foot on the brake. Boop, boop. And I said, step on the gas, go. And she was like, oh, this is great. And then I, because it's a, it's a, one of those auto manuals, I was like teaching her how to, you know, I said, the car will shift for you. It just holds things out longer, but you want to shift. And then I said, and never put it in sport mode. I said, unless you want to use all your gas. Yeah. And she's it's like. Very expensive. I said, yeah. And it has to take 91 octane. So it has a 90, it has a 91 octane tune on it and a 93 octane tune on it. So I went through and changed it. So it's the 91 which is what they have the sticker on the thing for anyway. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So I drove it today. I've been driving it. Well, it's real pretty. At least like from here, it looks it's, real pretty. It's beautiful. Mm. I want to I wanna do work to it. <laughs> and I know I can't. <laughs> I want to make it faster. So apparently I am rich, according to other people, even though I've been saying it on the show. I'm rich, bitches. I'm rich, bitch. Yeah, I am. Uh, even though I've been saying it on the show for years that I'm rich. Apparently, I am. You're just smart. Ooh. Ooh. Not bad. Not bad. Not the best. I mean, I'll give that a, I'll give that a three. I like the glug, 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 glug. Can we pass it down, or is this one no, mine? That one's yours. Because it's a smaller amount, because yes. you know me. And you oh, also have to visit God. family today. I do. That's Should we good. tell them? Because they didn't get to hear the story about my birthday dinner <laughs> when you did the podcast, and I stormed off. Because you just kept talking yeah, and we're yeah. trashed, and I had to have our daughter drive you to yeah, my birthday that's celebration. That's Randy's fault. Yeah, that's Randy's fault. <laughs> Actually, that was Randy's fault. Because I wasn't here. Didn't Randy even say, Oh shit, are you in trouble? Yeah. Because yeah. I had He was like, him. You should probably go. I'm like, yeah. yeah. He was like, What are you late for? I was like, It's her birthday. He was like, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am driving to my mother's, god damn it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. Love you. <laughs> so I read an article. Um, I don't know if it was Men's Health or Vine. It was something. And one of the top rated rise was this one. And it is Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Jack I've Daniels. Heard the same thing. It Bonded smells rye. so good. It smells really good. I'm, I'm, you, you get the that rye scent mm-hmm. on the nose like you get that that it, it's like a sweet spicy yes scent um but there's nothing that just jumps out like it's not a vanilla or a caramel or right. a you know tobacco right. or whatever it's i just, smell apricots like yeah. i don't do any of that it just smells good i smell ball sack. <sighs> 
Salty. <laughs> Yeasty. Mmm, for Munda cheese. <laughs> Shmegma. Oh, God. <laughs> nurse. I'm a nurse. But I had to explain that to somebody. We were playing Cards Against Humanity. That's so sad. And Shmegma was a, <laughs> is a card in there. And they're like, what the hell? I'm like, eh, just pull back the foreskin and clean out the cheese. Urban Dictionary. Mm. But shmegma, shmegma is in the Urban Dictionary because it is an. Oh, act, I'm sure it is. It is yeah. an actual medical term. Oh no, yes, I yeah. know. Okay, yes, but I'm sure that if you went to Urban Dictionary and just pulled up shmegma, there'd be like several that's, listings yeah. for it. Well, like one well, will be a tech. That you have, we haven't done on the show. We haven't really done. Not. Yeah, we haven't done a. I've never done it. An Urban Dictionary show. I should pull one of the. We should try that for. Not the next show, but maybe next week when we record next week. Because I think we're. Are we going to try to do two shows today? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. You don't but, have to do two shows. Well, because I'll be coming home from Seattle, and you've got to get the boy back to college. Yeah. So that'll be... I'll let you all figure that. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. But so, yeah, I don't get anything other than a sweet and spicy on well, the nose. I get a little bit of wood, and it smells like wood. It gives you wood? Yeah. Yeah, I can see. A little bit of... Yeah. A little boing, boing. bit, yeah, a li- little bit of alcohol, like giggity, a little giggity. ethanol, <laughs> but. Isn't this exciting? We're all just sniffing this and, except for Melissa, she's like, ah, I'm going in. Right. Ooh. I really like that. Th- and that's just the first sip. I'm going to need to do a three sips on this one. Oh. Hold on. I still have a my first sour. hit of it is very burny, alcoholy. I didn't get that at all. Mm-hmm. My second sip was a lot sweeter. It's not very viscous. Mm-mm. It is not the viscous. The mouthfeel, the, like there's no coating to it. But it is very sweet. Hint of ethanol on the finish. Yes, for mm-hmm. sure. Um Oaky. I'm getting like right now, and it may be the combination of the pineapple smash and this, but almost like a cocoa puff on the finish as well, like a like a long lingering uh, uh, cocoa cocoa pebbles milk on the finish, which I know sounds really fucking weird, but it's like way 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 back on the on the end like past the ethanol like once the ethanol subsides like mm, it's it's okay there. it does it takes a minute yeah and then you do get that really i don't want to say chocolate but i think i think cocoa yeah cocoa. like baking it's lighter. like baking cocoa yeah not sweet like hot chocolate cocoa but like like mm-hmm. cocoa yeah. yeah like a cocoa nibs <clears throat> kind like of like a spoonful of cocoa powder in your mouth like yeah. a little herbal some nuttiness. Like a cinnamon challenge. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. Yep. All right. So. But yeah, I, I, it's really good. Like Jack Daniels, because we've, we've talked about it before, they've got their old number seven. Yep. I'm not a fan. But their single barrel stuff that they've been putting out recently, this rye, there's another. They're. I think they have another rye coming out here. Their single barrel stuff is really good. And I feel like this would be really versatile because it doesn't give you a big flavor profile. This would be good in an old fashioned. That's what I was thinking too, because you're going to pick up those notes from the other ingredients. So it's not going to overwhelm anything. On the Instagram account, Coming Whiskey. So if you don't follow Coming Whiskey, follow Coming Whiskey. They, for whatever, however they get their information, it's always about. Things coming up, like in the next six months, eight months, year, whatever. So there is a Jack Daniels special release single barrel that's coming out. That's a Koi Hill, which the Koi Hill, the last one they put out was like one fifty, or the one that I can think of was like one hundred and fifty proof. Shit, like ridiculous. That's a hundred. That's 50%. this. This they have a place. I'm calling it a placeholder. They have a placeholder of 80 proof in on this. That'd be like a floater. Koi, yeah. Koi yeah. Hill yeah. does not. That's not a. That's a high proof like hazmat bottle. Mm-hmm. Like that's. 
and it needs to be. So danger. They have one coming out. I thought it was a rye. I thought it was going to be like a single barrel rye special release Koi Hill, but it's not. Um, but like things like that Koi Hill, that rye, the single barrel that I have at home. I don't. Did we do that here? I haven't tried that one. Okay, I wasn't I'll have on to bring that, that and we'll have to do it. And I've got the the single barrel that I got. Is that du- the, the duty free one? The one well, I've got the one thirty, or it's like one twenty or one thirty proof. Um that I just picked it up down at Pit Stop. We hundred proof. Okay, yeah. So I've got like a I've got like a one twenty or one thirty proof that I picked up at Pit Stop for thirty five bucks. Yeah, this was thirty three bucks. Yeah. So they're doing some good stuff. I'm glad to see like cause not For a year, it was just old number seven. It's always old, old number, number seven. seven. And now they're starting to do some other things, which is, I was never a big fan of Tennessee whiskey in general. Just the car, the charcoal, charcoal finish and that just, it always just kind of, eh. but they're starting to branch out, which is making me more interested in what they're doing now. Yeah. So their description is. Our distinct Tennessee rye opens with notes of dried fruit, followed by a lingering hints of toffee and imparting a bold and complex and balanced taste with that rye spice finish. I, so that's the to- So we're tasting the toffee and we're calling it cocoa, but I can see that. Maybe, maybe. So this is. Uh, Where's your saline? Right here. I was wondering that too. Yeah. But just a tiny bit for me because I don't have. I, we only use a well, drop. You can only you can. I know, but a drop with your amount and a drop with my amount is going to be different because look how much less I have. But you can only get a drop at a time. Well, but you I'm can't get do a half a, a drop. Little, no, I'll just taste yours and see if there's yeah. a big difference because I feel like mine is going to be more salty. It might be. I have so a feeling. this is, and it's not viscous, but look at it on the glass. Like you can tell, there's some viscosity there's some legs. there. There's, there's some legs. There's legs to it. There's definitely legs. It just doesn't like some. Some whiskeys you have, oh, yeah. it, it feels it, like the butter. Feel. Yeah. yeah. And then others, it's just like drinking a glass of water. And this is like more towards the glass of water feel. Yeah. So another review. The nose starts off with notes of fresh cut wood, herbal tea, agave syrup, and underripe fruit. Then comes a splash of toffee, vanilla, and candied cherry to help it fill an unexpected, vibrant, vibrant and robust nose. Okay, I we, picked up cherry at first, but everyone was talking about cocoa, and I'm super yeah. nervous about being with the two of you who have had Oh, no, 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 everybody's no. tastes but are different. Now everybody's you different. pick up the toffee. Yeah, every, the everybody's different, so. Okay. So just say it. Don't so worry just about say it. it. Don't right. worry about it, because that may be, it may be the dried fruit. Like, I was, there was something, it wasn't enough for me yeah. to, personally to call out. It was yeah. more the, the, the deep finish of that cocoa or toffee or whatever yeah. we're, gonna, we're calling it. But I was just like, eh. Well, okay. taste it now, because now I definitely well, pick up toffee. Well, before, before I do, we fucked up. What's that? We should have went water first and then saline. Eh, well. But that's all right. Yeah. Well, I've got more. Uh, <laughs> palate. When the nose is big and lively, oh, the yeah. palate starts off soft and gentle before transitioning to flavors of vanilla, green tea, toasted hazelnuts, and dried fruits. There's a touch of herbaceousness here, but never feels piney. The after, so I didn't get the green tea or any of that stuff prior to the saline drop. The saline drop just kind of explodes all those flavors, enhanced everything. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Because yeah. now I do get the green tea. Yeah, I get a, that a, earthiness, a, a subtle green tea. Yeah, and I it really brings out the rye. There's yeah. a lot more spice and bite to it. Yeah, that that rye, that peppery. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let me do yours. Peppery rye. Uh, I keep doing this like. Peppery rye. Yours is a lot more viscous now. Taste mine. Mine is definitely different. Well, the ratio of right saline yeah, to, yeah. to whiskey or to rye is yeah. So maybe add another drop when you get cl- closer to the bottom. Because actually, no, I'm going to add another drop now because yeah. I think I liked yours. It's really good. Yeah, hit me up with a. We've never done two drops. What? Oh, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh. All right, swirly, swirly, Yeah, swirly. I'm curious to see. It opened up a little more. But... Yeah, it's salted toffee. Yeah. Like a salted caramel. Always a fan got, of that. Yeah. Sweet and salty is the best. Holy shit. Right? Okay. Yes. I it's oh, yeah. very... It's like, very... You definitely get the salinity, but damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like... Taffy, like, yes. like I Salt want water taffy. I want that like on 
bread like and a, butter brownies like dark chocolate cake <laughs> yeah brownie yeah. like i want that I do on, make a with a fucking brownie. amazing dark chocolate cake and the yeah. rye Dang. that that rye the spiciness spicy and salty yeah that it's mm-hmm. it's lingering on the tongue more on the outsides of the back of the tongue yeah it really just it hits more of the tongue like it hits more more taste profile salty sweet umami like all of that. Well, that was a happy accident. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. I need to make some saline. Because that's really good. It's a weird game changer. It is. I mean, but also add salt to your coffee. If you're oh, co- I do. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Every morning. Like that yeah. was a mind blower. The fact that it, it, it takes away it the bitterness. Yeah. Knocks the bitterness away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's how you. That's uh, what you should have done with the hotel room coffee. Yeah. Is we should have found a salt packet. Added to that but shitty hotel coffee. But I don't have I don't have purse condiments, so <laughs> well we oh my god, one of my favorite TikTokers has purse salt. She's got really, really good high quality salt that she keeps in her purse, and I'm like, hmm, okay, I can be that pretentious. I we need I oh. I, I, I want to upgrade our salt at home. Like there's a I just go to TJ Maxx and literally buy the largest bag of pink Himalayan salt, rock salt mm-hmm. they yeah. have. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I bought this is how fucking Rich, pretentious. Rich. Pretentious is right. Uh, I bought Peugeot salt and pepper grinders. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't know what those are. Well, Peugeot is like a shitty French car manufacturer. Okay. <laughs> but they make other things. Yeah. And like so salt and pepper shakers. Peugeot is they're they're more of they're they are they are not a shitty manufacturer. I just not a fan of Peugeot's. But it's more of a European car, but mm-hmm. they also make so they're small? Yeah. They're like the size of a Tylenol? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Peugeot's, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> we probably saw them in Italy, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> potentially. 100%. <laughs> everywhere you went. Yeah. Um, but they Peugeot mm-hmm. also makes other things. Like, they make cookware. They make... But it's more prevalent in Europe than it is here. Okay. Well, I was at Sur la Table. Oh, my God. <laughs> which is... Sur la Table. It's it's not Sur la Table, but that's what I call it. Yeah. That's like, yeah, I don't call it Target. It's the Red Circle Boutique. Yeah, it's Target. It's the Red Circle Boutique. <laughs> it's where I spend all my money. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Um, so I bought these. I bought a salt. Like, I like grinders. I have a pepper a pepper mill that is got to be. like the, the size of a get bottle I of Galliano. stole yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> I literally stole Throw it, it over from, my shoulder. <laughs> from an O'Charlie's. <laughs> Would like, you like I was some about pepper to be, I was, on your salad? Yeah, and that's like, exactly what it is. It's like, like I, I was like, I would oh, love man. some pretentious pepper. Thank you. <laughs> if you're like, I stole it from an O Charlie. So I'm like, all right, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I, well, like I'm legit okay with it now. <laughs> yeah, my my mom and I used to see who could steal the best stuff from restaurants: silverware, plates, glasses, whatever it is we could walk out with. <laughs> and before pepper like grinder. six months. Eight months before she died, she was up here, and I walked out. No, it had, yeah, that, that's probably probably about right. I I w- we were at O'Charlie's up in Gahanna, and I saw one sitting on the thing, and I had on a big coat, and I just kind of grabbed it and stuck it in my under my <laughs> left arm and walked out. And my mom was sitting in the car, and I just opened up my coat and I went, "Winner, beat that!" And she goes, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> <laughs> like at one point we had an A and W steak knife set. Like when A and W was like more of a, not a fast food restaurant. When they were like a go in, sit down, family style restaurant, they had really nice silverware. We had steak knife set because her and I were constantly like we'd walk by tables and just grab them, stick them in our pockets. So we were constantly stealing shit, and I do it today. Like I have Mad Tree glasses, I have Ryan oh, glasses. Yeah, like- for, I've got. I mean, I've got ones the number from, of glasses that he has has started fights before. I. <laughs> but did you purchase them? No. 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 And so they're even them, harder no. to get rid of for him. So. Their trophies. While we were in Italy, something. And at the hotel we stayed at, the Huxton in Rome. Amazing side note. We were sitting with my family at the bar. Stunning. <laughs> And I ordered, the family or the restaurant? No, yes, the, the family. <laughs> and ordered, I, th- I don't even know if it was an old fashioned, but it came out in this glass. And I'm like, this glass is fucking amazing. For Christmas this year, I got that glass because <laughs> so my aunt swiped. stole it 
kept it through the entire cruise, wrapped it up in her luggage to get it back home to send it back to me for Christmas. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. And it's a fucking gray class. I love it. Also, would just say, if you ever get the opportunity to go to Italy and Greece, like, do it. 100% it was do it. awesome. So that's what Liz and I are talking about that for our... So we've been married 18 years. So for our 20th... I'm do like, it. I'm like, where do are we it. going? Do it. She's like, I don't know. I'm like, so where in Europe are we going? Like, not... So I've never been on a cruise. Oh, God. I here haven't we either. Go. Here we go. Oh, Jesus. And okay. I just like to brace our listeners. I'm, well, no, I'm just going to brace myself because I've heard this whole... Well, like, I love you. Hold yeah, on. I, love I do. I've never been on a cruise either. Uh-huh. And I have heard horror stories about cruise ships and other things and just what you've seen in mainstream media sure. and some of the other sh- shit that happened and still continues to happen. But Liz has been on cruises before. Like, they used to do cruises all the time. And I'm like, uh, mm, I don't know that I want to be stuck on a boat that I can't get off of. That's fair. That that was my thought, too. So, go ahead. So, I... Hesitant, also, like... The opportunity f- came up. The opportunity came up. We took it. I I know people who have taken a bunch of cruises. I know people who have visited Europe and traveled around Europe. And there are pros and cons to both. What I liked about the cruise was that if when we went to a different port and everything else, I didn't have to pack up my shit Mm -hmm. and move to a different hotel and deal with all that. The food on board was good. We got the drink package, so that was great. Oh my yeah, god, that, we drank so much. That I was I was told if you ever even with a anything all inclusive. Yeah. Make sure you're like upgrade your drink package. Upgrade yeah. your drink package. Yep, like right. all inclusive inclu- includes alcohol, but they yeah. have you there can were like three to or stuff. four things that like even with the drink package the upgraded drink package you had to pay for. But like I was drinking top shelf old fashions, Irish coffees, whatever, just bourbon on the rocks, the entire cruise. I know I the one night at the, f- at the front. Oh God. Oh God. Like I mean, I might home, be now, but when we got home, I literally like, it was days, days later, like Detox. weeks later. <laughs> and I was like, I have got to stop drinking so much because on the boat, on the boat, like you get off the boat to go to your excursion and they're like, Hey, it's 10 in the morning, but you just got off a boat. Let me, let me greet you with Uzo and wine. And you're like, sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. We, then, yeah. Like we went to, we went to a, a an olive grove, you know, like a, a, a place that made olive oil. And we literally got off the bus. It was like 10 o'clock in the morning, and it was white wine and ouzo. And I'm like, fucking damn. But that's, then, that's how it is like, in Europe. Though. Yeah. They're At just... the dinner table, like it was a family style, like here's all the great you know dishes that you know in Greece. And there's all of these carafts of wine. And like, so if some tables don't finish the, your, theirs, you're like, well, I'll just top off my glass. I'm like, like, it would be so rude to leave much, it empty. Right. It I did that in so Vegas. Much yeah. <laughs> so much drinking. Like, you literally have to make a decision when you get home. You're like, I can't drink like this anymore. So since Dry January's been over, I think there's been one day that I haven't drank at night. Okay. I there's been, I've, I've had several, but, like, I've also, like, cut back. I've cut back, but last night, like, Liz isn't home. She left yesterday. She went down to Hawking Hills with friends, oh, stayed fine. at a cabin. Uh, that that one of our friends owns, and she is in the middle of a twelve stop wine tasting. Oh my oh. god, Liz, that sounds amazing, doesn't it? So the girls went. And Liz is like, she goes, "Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm like fucking go, yeah, do it. Like we don't we don't ask permission. We tell each other what we're doing. Like we it's not a yeah, it's not a. Is it okay if I go do this thing? I'm like, she goes, "Well, I'm going down. I'm like, go, yeah." She's like, well, the girl, I'm like, "Eh, I got him. It's fine. We went bowling. Mm -hmm. I took their boyfriends. We all went bowling. It's fine. So she's down there doing that. And I'm just like two o'clock or it was midnight last night. I hadn't had anything to drink. And I'm like, I want a beer. I go out and look. I don't have any beer. You know what I have? I've got nitro fucking Prometheus, whatever that you had. Three philosophers. Yes. That stuff. But I'm missing a can. So I didn't drink it until I brought you your four. Uh-huh. And I'm like, where? 
I'm missing a can. One of the kids take the can. No. I think maybe I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't remember. That's the only thing I can think of. I'm being, but I've had contractors in and out of the house. And maybe one of the, I'm not going to, I'm not accusing but that's, anybody of anything. But that's such a, like, that's so not a. Well, if you look in my beer fridge, though, uh-huh. it's, I grabbed a Sam Adams uh-huh. winter ale and I poured it and I took a sip and I was eating chips and French onion dip. And the Sam Adams white ale is a Christmas ale. And I'm like, oh, that doesn't work. I was going to say, I just I, I, immediately dumped that shit out. I was yeah. like, this doesn't. You need something lighter. I don't want this. You need like a lager. Oh, no, I want heavier. Did you? I went with this. With three the three philosophers, philosophers. nitro, you've been a fan fucking of nine three percent. Philosophers. Rare, I, I love. I mean, yeah. we were in the early days of dating. Yeah. Was it was it Voss or Voss? Rare Voss. Or, rare Voss. Yeah. Rare Voss. Well, still, I haven't had one of those in ten years. I should probably try and find one. I'm not accusing any of the contractors yeah, sure. of taking. But when you look in my fridge, it would be blatantly obvious if yeah. someone took a beer from you, my fridge. Right. There's a Sam Adams Winter Ale. There's a Sam Adams something else Winter. Ale thing out of the fucking variety pack should have been four per me or uh, three, three flash. philosophers and some fathead jolly something. My beer fridge is empty, and I looked at it, I went, I'm missing a beer. Maybe I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't remember drinking it. Yeah, and it could have been the night that we ha- we did the three philosophers on the show, uh-huh. and then I got home and I think maybe I poured another one. Oh sure, but I am not a hundred percent. I've, I've so, done that. I ended up having two of those last night, starting at midnight. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't go to bed till about two o'clock. And I was sitting, I was laying there, like I'm sitting there. And when Liz goes out of town, I stay up later. Not because, because she's out of town. Like yeah. I feel like I have to stay up later and watch the house. Okay. You're or the guardian if, flu. If He's some, the guardian flu. Yeah. yeah. Or if like, Something happens, she calls, and I have to run out to go get. It. I don't know. Like I just don't. Whatever. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Whatever it is, I just don't go to sleep at ten o'clock. It's like two or three. Even though I'm tired, I just lay there. So I drank two of those while I was watching Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, that's a great <sighs> show. I love that show. Such a good show. Our retriever, our golden retriever, likes to sit on the front of the porch, and we call her the guardian floof. So when you said that you were standing sentry of yes. the home until after midnight. Well, laying on the couch, but yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, potato, potato. With the, with the alarm unset, just in case someone walked in. Right. All right. So we're just doing the two, or is there another one? Yeah. We can do a third. Oh, no. I just wasn't sure because, you know, I'm the newbie on the show. We do whatever. I'm the stand-in yeah. when Randy yeah. can't there's, be here. There's yeah. no... There's no, There's no rules. And you're a great stand-in, by the way. <laughs> yeah. There's no rules. Johnny Edwards loves it when you're on yeah. the show. Johnny! So, I mean, we can do a third, or we can do a half show, which would technically be a full show. What was the one that you just bought at the store that you said you'd been looking for? Oh, that that's the Teeling's whiskey. That's the Irish mm-hmm. whiskey. Whiskey, because it has... No, with yeah, it's got an E in it. EY. Yeah, EY. It's a whiskey. Whiskey. It is a, it is a, a seven year small batch, or a six or seven year, and then the last six months it spends in rum rum barrels. Although we, we did time. we did it's a quick only... sample of that. Didn't yeah, we? we tried that. I don't even know if we did that on the show. I think I we think, just sampled. I think it. Randy was just like, oh, I was looking forward to hard liquor because I haven't had any yet. Yeah, home, we did and beer. So, and he's uh, I don't like beer. Yeah. I, I had a beer last night. It was, <laughs> I poured it out. Melissa's oh, like, Oh God. <laughs> oh, it did not look like beer. It looked it was, like, like when you go to change the oil in your a, car. It was a barrel, a, a whiskey barrel aged imperial stout aged on vanilla, cinnamon, chilies, oh, and, and cocoa nibs. That sounds amazing. It was so good. Oh, that sounds amazing. It was a little sweeter than what I wanted, but it was really good. Did I send you. Oh yeah, no the brownie. Yes, that whole that company they do all kinds of goofy I shit have, like that. I have a droid theory in my fridge right oh, now. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I will show this to you. Yeah, Melissa. Yeah, the droid theory. Yeah, look at this. So, well, oh, well, the audio will play, but whatever. That's a beer. That's that a looks beer. like chocolate milk. I know. That I mean, that looks is amazing. real pretty. And is it falling almost like it was a Guinness? Yes. <laughs> Wow. Yes, I'm it's a cheese that. cheesecake brownie, brownie cheesecake. cheesecake. I Fuck, that's struggle what, when with I made that my stuff though. I saw that, and that's when I made a post on Facebook. I'm like, I want a fucking cheesecake right now. We actually have cheesecake brownie bites in the in the house right now. I had cheesecake. Liz went to um, 
Porter's in Pickerington and bought me a slice of a brownie coffee bean vanilla cheesecake. <gasps> it had coffee beans on top, mm. which ended up getting picked off because it got soggy. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it was so good. We're going to my mom's house in a couple hours to celebrate the Murph being home from college. And my mom's birthday was last week, but she was in Orlando. And so I've got brownies. We will wait. Yeah. I have some somewhere in here. And then we were at Cooper's Hawk. They have a Sicilian red. I know. Oh, God. Well, so Liz and I were supposed to go yesterday it to Cooper's Hawk. so good. We have two free tastings. Plus, we have our club flight. So we were like, oh, we're going to go up. We're going to get our two free tastings. We're going to do our flight. And then we're going to get lunch. Yeah, it didn't happen, though. Because no, my, my contractor... No, my contractor was like, hey, so I want to come on Saturday and try to knock out a bunch of small shit that just needs to be done mm-hmm. so that when I show up on Tuesday, I can clean the floors and start putting some thin set down and level out the floors. And I told Liz, and she goes, oh, yeah, just tell him to come. I'm like, are you sure? Because, you know, he can just, we yeah. can just push all that out to Tuesday if you just want to go to Cooper's Hawk and do like a day date. And she goes... No, we need to get the basement done. Yeah, that's tough. I'm like, God damn it. All we right, got to rip out my shower and put in a new one. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. Like, we, I keep making changes to shit. Mm-hmm. Not major changes, but like we, he, my, my contractor, he's like, do you want any like nooks and crannies in the shower? And I'm like, I didn't think about that. Okay. I'm glad you thought about oh, it. Oh, like stuff to put your shit. Because, yeah, like to put a shampoo bottle yeah, yeah. on in the shower in the basement. I'm like, well, shit, I didn't think about that. How much is that costing you? Because, like, we just got the quote to pull out my shower. The floor is leaking. We, we know there's cracks in the in the grout. Yeah. And so we know that's going to be a long-term problem. So I don't know what the bathroom. I can tell you my original quote for the entirety of the basement, not just the bathroom, was 38000 1,600 square foot. The guy is amazing. He doesn't overcharge like yeah. some of these other places do. I was at thirty eight thousand for the entirety of the basement, framed out, drywalled, floored. But because I've upgraded some stuff, I'm I'm past that. Yeah. But so I don't know what the basement itself it. is. Like we, I, were... we had to cut the floor out of the base uh, out of the bathroom and move some pipes and because things that didn't line up properly. So sure. that was like so cutting the floor up. Was an extra four grand that wasn't. Yeah. It was anticipated, but hoped that we didn't have to do it. So. I see what you have there. I can do. We could do this one. So we're at an hour. Do you want to just do a new? We can do a new show. Short show. We can do a short show. Yeah. And do. Yeah, let's do that. But St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. I have to get back to you. It all depends on things. Okay. Well, I was going to say we can just do because this show, show. Well, this show will go out on Tuesday, this Tuesday. Yeah. We do another show. That'll go out the following Tuesday, which will be after St. Patrick's Day. Well, well, what you got? Oh, I've got all kinds of Irish But we can do that. We can do teeling. I've got... I'm trying to... I've got Redbreast 15-year, which is one of my my favorite whiskeys ever. We can do that. And And that's only that's only like $1,000 a bottle. Yeah. A drip drop. Not that. That's uh, 120. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. And then I have Middleton, a little bit of that mm. left. That's 200 a bottle. And I'm not a big Irish whiskey guy either. Like Jameson Black is a good, mm-hmm. but only because it's stored in bourbon barrels. So. Yeah. Hey, stay tuned. Yeah, we're going to figure something out. Yeah. Bye. So for next week, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Insta, Facey, Twitch, or whatever, whatever the Randy says. The Gram, YouTube, YouTube, you just YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. More so YouTube than Podbean, you, YouTube or and Instagram. Apple. Yeah, YouTube. I'm I'm trying to do more on Instagram. So for Mal- Malike and Melissa and M- Malort, M- Mar- Malartel, <laughs> <laughs> Malartel, Malartel. <laughs> We're out. See you. Wait.